Hmm. Two tiny circlips. Yes. Eclipse. I'll get it right one of these days. Part MB. Metal bag. Six. MB. Ooh, where's bag B as A? That's bag C. That's bag B. Bag B doesn't have any little circlips in it. I don't think they're in bag there. I think I saw those in here somewhere. I've seen little circlips. I keep got there we go. Calling of circlips, that eclipse. It even says that eclipse here in the instructions, but I'll probably continue to do it. I want two of them. Tiny ones. Little tiny ones. One. I don't want the grub screws to come out. You go away. Two. Right, now then. It is, yeah, I thought it would. He's talking about greasing the whole of this shaft. Make up your own jokes. Uh, always a pain to hold of these little clips. Gotta hold it in place, get a pair of pliers. Get that in the right position and squeeze. If you're lucky it pops in. That's not quite popped into place yet. It's half in. There, that's in. You can hear a kind of positive sort of click when it gets in the right place. Like that. That one's in as well. That one went in easier. So what I now need to do is apply grease. This is where you get it all over your fingers. And then, one of these. And a spring. Well, at the moment, there's nothing to hold that spring actually in place. <laughs> so, it may or may not stay there. Hopefully, it does. Don't want to lose that. I do the same thing at this other end here. Now then, I've got to make sure that I get this right as well. So that faces the other way. I 
Aha. Not paying as much attention as they should be. There is a third selector here. Kind of makes sense. And what I do with this one is I put this on here. I put this on facing the other way. Like that. Let's put a little bit more grease on that shaft. And then a spring goes over the top of that. And that's the gear selector shaft, which in theory is now complete and we've got to turn the page over. So what is it? <laughs> it is an articulated truck. Uh, this particular part is a gearbox, which we're about to start and assemble. But this, with the other parts, gets joined to this thing. And what I'll do in just a second is I'll just get you the box lid and show you what the box lid looks like so you can actually see what the model would look like. And the problem here is I can't actually get the whole box lid in. But it's, um, he says, trying to get this over the top of the microphone. Focus! An artic uh, that's about as much as I can get in, but it's an articulated truck. And it is that long. <laughs> you can't see my other hand. It's as long as that black chassis. Uh, I've got some trailers to go with it as well. And uh, it's a toy. It's a remote control toy, radio controlled. So, now then. More parts needed. Uh, four more bearings. Some nuts. All hazel nuts. Um, B B C B B B C B C. I was about to say, um, have you, uh, well, maybe I haven't. Try to think whether I've actually shown the uh, the Scania truck that I've got um, that I built or oh, got a few years ago now. I'm not actually sure whether I've uh, ever even shown that on uh, on stream. But they are uh, they are large, fairly large models. When you get the trail, the articulated trailer on the end of it as well, um, they certainly are impressive. Okay. I'm getting parts out for both the next sorts of steps. Oh, not for that step. Okay. Oh, I can't count. That says five. Mm. I keep seeing BC two and gain. Oh, that's two. No, that's the part number. Five. Now you get to see me. Uh, sometimes this can get me to the point of throwing things. Hasn't yet. 
but it can get really, really frustrating. Now then, I want all of these three things off of here. These are the bearing holders. We start by putting one of those in there. And I put a ball bearing in there. I do not need to put grease on these. All right, make sure they clip all the way in. If I use solid bearings, I'd be put, uh, putting grease around uh, on the shafts that are about to go into here. But because these are ball bearings, I don't want grease on them because it kind of defeats the object of having the ball bearing. Now then, two gear shafts. This one and this one. They have to go the right way around. I'm wondering whether I've actually assembled, I'm assembling this correct. We'll find out because I so far have never managed to assemble one of these correct the first time. I'm starting to surprise myself. Now that goes in there and I've got to make sure that these selectors How am I going to do this? Slide it that way. Okay. <laughs> take, take the take the gear out, gear shaft out. So that one won't move. That has to go there, and that has to. They've these forks here have to go into the slidey bits of those gears. So it looks like I've got to do this two pieces at one go. And that's locked in there. And then we put the end cap. <laughs> I haven't got the end cap out. Stay. Do not move. Do not spring off. Do not lose parts. Can you tell that I've had experiences with this before where bits have slid off? And... I now need to put these two in first, making sure I get the plate the right way around, and these ball bearings in there. Carefully pick that up. Make sure all the things go in the right holes. There. <laughs> now screw it together. Stay, stay. Thread lock is needed. You do not want this thing coming apart at any time unless you really intend it to. bit in the screwdriver I'll just use this for the moment No parts have pinged off. Uh, 
And now the final part for this will go in there. That's the final support rail. I gather it's get, it gets left off uh, initially to make it easier to put the, that uh, this changer and shaft in place. You always need four hands to do this. But I've only got two. An extra pair is often welcome. Then we'll spin the gearbox and see if it actually works. It is at this point where I find out whether I've made a mistake or not. I shall nip up these nuts. Again, they're not holding a 10 ton ship, so you just need a little nip to just hold them in place. Now then, um, this should be in second gear, I think it is. And um, that's spinning quite nicely. So one gear will push it that way. It's just trying to hold it. And now a different set of gear spins. I don't know whether that's first gear or third gear. And if you push it the other way, he says, a different set of gear spins. That's third gear. <laughs> it's harder to spin it. There's an electric motor goes in here which um, spins this thing. But here we have a synchromesh gearbox. So it's an it's a interesting thing to sort of look at if you're uh, even just trying to work out how gearboxes work. So that's first gear, second gear, and as we spin it more, that's third gear. Clever! Right, so actually that part is done. The next bit is fitting the motor and uh, fitting on the end of it here the output shaft so we will fit that part as well so there is a spacer that goes on there and we've got some grease to put on the on the uh, on the gears as well. Okay, I think that um, Tiny little grub screw, which we put thread lock on, because you don't want this coming undone. Thread lock's kind of a glue. This isn't a permanent glue. It's a fairly um, you can relatively easy un easily undo it. Um, it's